Alright, so obviously from the title of the video, you can see that we're going to take a few popular candies, melt them down, and see if they can be used as glue. And if you're a regular around this channel, you already know how we're going to do that. What we're going to do is, I have these wood blocks, I'm just going to melt the candies down in this pot with this hot plate, and then take the syrup or whatever they melt down into, put it, on, put it between these blocks, clamp them together, and then we'll let them, we'll let them sit for probably a day or two, and then I'll hook up the crane scale and pull them apart and we'll see how much weight they can hold. Now the candy that I think is probably going to do the best and a lot of you guys agreed was Starburst. So that's the one we're going to start with first. Alright, now that we have the Starburst unwrapped, it's time to put them in the pot and melt them down. All right, now that the Starburst are done, we're going to move on to the Skittles. And just so everybody knows, there, there is gonna be some cross-contamination because I don't really have a good way to get the pot completely clean. So it's not gonna be super scientific, but it'll be all right. I think that should be enough.
right, well, as you can see, the Twizzlers aren't really melting. They're just pretty much burning. So we're just gonna bypass those and move on to our last one, the Swedish Fish. As you can see, we're done. All the candies are melted. They're all put in the blocks and everything is clamped down. And I would say that we're gonna wait 24 hours before we test them, but if you've been around here before, most of the time I say it's gonna be a certain amount of time and then it ends up being way more. So I'm just gonna say that we're just gonna test them later. It'll be over 24 hours in less than seven days. I'll see you then. Well, I told you I didn't know how long it was gonna be, and it's been six days. So let's get the weights and the crane scale out and start testing these. All right, we have the crane scale and the weights, and the first one that we're gonna be testing is the Swedish fish. Okay. There we go, see how much it'll hold. Hundred and twenty-eight pounds. All right, so Swedish fish started off really strong with one hundred and twenty-eight pounds. Let's see if gummy bears can do any better. Here we go. Even better. Gummy bears coming in at 216 pounds. So gummy bears so far are in the lead at 216 pounds. Now let's see if the Sour Patch Kids can beat that. Feels pretty good. Oh. Not quite. 164 pounds. All right, next up we have Skittles. Oh, kind of what I expected. That's gonna be the lowest one so far. 38 pounds. All right, now we're on to our last one. And if there's any one of them that's gonna beat gummy bears at 216 pounds, I think that Starburst has the best chance. Well, not if it's not gonna pull any weight. All right. One hundred and seventy three pounds. All right, guys. Well, we've answered two questions today. One, can you use candy as glue? Yes, you can. Two, what candy makes the best glue so far out of the ones I've tested? Gummy bears coming in at two hundred and sixteen pounds, which is extremely impressive because whenever I was stacking up all those weights, I was stacking them up and I was going to stop at 150 because I figured there was no way that any of those were going to lift over 150 or even over 100 for that matter. So I'm glad I put the extra weight on there because it proved to be much stronger than I anticipated. And if there's anything else that isn't a glue that you'd like to see me turn into a glue, leave a comment down below. 
So far I've used Coca-Cola as glue, I've turned dog bones into glue, now I've used candies as glue. So if there's anything else, go ahead and leave a comment down below and it just might make it into the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.